it's a little bit later. I am gonna do some makeup and catch you up on what is going on. I mean, nothing really. I have some allergies, so don't mind that. But otherwise, I've missed doing YouTube. But I definitely, let's back all the way up. So I think my last video was around the holidays. I loved it. And then I ended up getting a new job and I really like my new job. It's just like a lot going on all the time. Just knew I wasn't gonna be able to be consistent and I didn't wanna post random content that I didn't feel like was good. And so I wanted it to be intentional. So I took a break and here I am back again. I'm glad to be back. I feel refreshed and like the creative juices are flowing and I can't wait to get back into it. That's kind of what's been going on. I know in the other video I mentioned, I wish I would have done more moving content, which there'll be some later of all of the moving stuff that's going on, which now the moving is done, <laughs> but we're still in the setup phase. So doing more of that still. I'm also curious what kind of videos you all want to see if you want to keep seeing the same kind of videos this also is not a career channel it's just lifestyle some beauty stuff whatever i'm interested in i am the creator i am the editor so it's kind of just whatever i'm feeling which is fun but also it kind of makes me get a little i don't i could get i easily can get burnt out which I just know that about myself in general, so I don't want that to happen. And so I'm trying to do it. My new schedule is gonna try and be every week one video and try to upload on Wednesdays, like Wednesday evening probably, because I find I'm shooting a lot of the content over the weekend, which is fun because then that's when I'm actually doing fun stuff and it's fun to bring you all along. But during the week, I mean, because I got the new job and just the nature of what my life looks like during the week. It's not entirely exciting or even like routines worth watching in my opinion. So I feel like I'm just gonna save it for the weekend. And I mean, like I was saying earlier, that also helps me not get burnt out by doing it all the time, every single day. It makes me look forward to it on the days that I do do it and then I can do the editing a little bit here and there because the editing can get really long and it can be hard on my eyes. I feel like I'm 90 years old saying that, but it just is like very minute pieces. And after a little while, I just want to be done and then I feel like the quality of my editing goes down. So I'd rather do a little bit at a time when I'm like fully focused and then come back to it. And so with only the one video a week, that allows me to do a little bit when I have the time to dedicate to it, even if it's just one little minute or so of the video, that is better to have like the full focus on that rather than just feeling like I need to rush through the whole edit and get it up to get it up because that's just not enjoyable. And when I watch YouTube videos, I think, I feel like I watch YouTube, like people watch TV where I watch it almost every single day, like a 30 minute episode or something. And I think it's, it feels a little obvious when creators are just doing it to do it. And for me, that's just not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it just because it's fun and it's a creative outlet for me. And I'm excited to look back at all the memories I have from videos in far years. So, I know I had also mentioned that we have Charlie and I are going on some trips this summer and I'm actually going to DC I'm going to DC next week so by the time you see this video I'll probably have been there and back I'm only going for like less than 24 hours for work but if you are new here welcome but I used to live in Washington DC for about two three years and I absolutely love DC. If people want to do like a whole Q and A on DC, I'm happy to talk about it. I love DC and it's such a fun city that has so many cultures kind of mushed together in such a small area. And there is just so much, especially I work in politics. 
And so if you work in politics, that's definitely like the place to be if you want to be in all the decision making rooms, or even if you're not in the rooms, just getting the kind of like inside scoop on things. And it's just an experience that is like unmatched anywhere else. And so I loved being in DC and people are like, oh, like, why'd you leave? It's not really, I felt like I couldn't live there long term, which when I moved, it wasn't like I was trying to settle down or anything. It was more so at the time it was in the middle of COVID and I really missed my family. And I was just going through, I think a lot of like changes and I just, needed the security of being home and once I got back I think I started to sort of realize like oh Minneapolis isn't so bad <laughs> even though I went to school here and you know grew up here sort of I still had this like negative kind of connotation in my head for it and I think it's definitely not like a DC a New York Chicago whatever but it does have kind of like it has like great restaurants, it has fun nature stuff if you like to go outside and like biking or walking or running or any of those activities or just any outdoor activity. It has a lot of great resources for that and I just enjoy being closer to my family as time goes on and eventually like if I have my own family I want to have roots here and DC is also really expensive to live in and I didn't want to live in an apartment forever, which I mean, I still live in an apartment, but I didn't want to, I don't know. I didn't want to have like a full quote unquote adult life there. I thought it was super fun and I was so glad I did it. And it was definitely a great experience, but it wasn't something long-term for me. And I think that's very common there. It's a very transient city. People are usually there for around five years or, ma or less and then they move on to something else. So it's a it's a common thing that goes through there and that's kind of what keeps it such a fast pace, but I think people kind of burn out from the fast pace. And I wouldn't say I burnt out, I just didn't want to be a part of it anymore. I wanted to just do other things that I had experienced in the past. I missed those things and I wanted to do those instead. And all the other reasons I mentioned, of course, but I recently switched back to this RMS Beauty on cover up concealer. I used this a long, long time ago and thought it was fine, but then my eyes started getting so, so sensitive, especially under my eyes. And it was almost like I was getting a rash from any other concealer. And then I started using this and it doesn't look dried out and it keeps underneath your eyes hydrated. Like if you have more dry skin, definitely something to look into. You can get it, I think you can, I'm pretty sure they have RMS online through Sephora, but also like Blue Mercury has it, or just, you know, their own independent site. But definitely not, I don't think Ulta does. I don't know, I'm not really an Ulta gal. I, I don't know what it is. I feel like people say they're either like a Sephora or an Ulta. I'm definitely a Sephora gal. I just like the layout a little better and I like the availability that they have the drugstore items and higher end items all under one roof but at the same time I don't because I'm like okay I'm here to look at the nice things and so I think it just changes the experience that you're having when you're going to shop and it's not totally the experience that I want. I need to do some lashes so we're gonna do that. My lashes are on. Before we go golfing, which I'm excited, I've never gone to like learn really, I've just gone with people. I wanted to organize some of my closet, which there's still a lot of just like figuring out what makes sense for the space. But I know I mentioned before that I got these two bins, which I need to set up and everything. And I don't know what makes the most sense to put in them, but we'll test it out.
door is just in like the worst place. So this is the stuff that I want to put in these bins, I think. All of the leggings and shirts and stuff. So I'm gonna start with just like the tank tops first. Because I did just go through and fold them all. Half the act of reorganizing something is just going through and seeing if you still need everything that you have. And then these are just short sleeve shirts and like quarter zips. These are very These I'm gonna put, I have a little pile down here of things that I'm gonna put into my winter bins because I just don't need them down here. So then these, this one is just purses and bits. So I'm gonna put these on these shirts instead. Just because, like I said, they're behind the door, but it's just like, difficult to maneuver. And then I'll put them there. Because I try to just leave the door open because Nugget's kennel is in here. So you can just go in and out when you want so it doesn't have to worry about the door. But these up here also, since the door opens this way, I can just have these bins up here and then put them down. still have lots of room in them which I think will be good if my collection keeps growing and then these are just skirts and like non-legging things that I'll leave over there I'm just gonna put this one up here too because that's what I've had forever but they fit very nicely so that's good and I feel like I could put sweatshirts over here too that'd be a good place for them because the sheets I could probably find a better spot for, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Up there, and I need to finish refolding all that, but we have to go, so I'll finish these. And like this already just looks better, so we'll come back to this stuff. consistently which we're still working on hitting the ball but it's gonna be a work in progress but so now it's a little later we had some dinner and I'm gonna read my book I'm reading a really good one let me know if you want like a book reviews segment in a vlog I'm gonna drink my poppy orange is my favorite there's a new grape one that I really want to try too but they were out at Target when I went the other day but so I'm gonna end off this one thank you all for watching and make sure you subscribe and like the videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.